freaking fly. Went right in my ear hole. It will kill. Yeah. It's a dead axis, man. What are you talking about? Guys, my cameraman's making me get in the back. He's, he's at 40 cap, you know what I'm 40 saying? 40 cap. I can't remember uh, if I'm in Africa or Texas right now. It's like 102 degrees. Just pulled up in the Jeep. This is our hideout and we're sitting water. So low fence axis hunting, free range axis. There's axis, stag, uh, oryx, nail guy. It's crazy here. But we're going after a big low fence axis buck. So we're gonna get our blind situated. We're gonna sit in here and bake and uh, Got the new Bowtech dialed in at the range. Hopefully we can put her to use tonight. It's day one in West Texas here. So y'all stay tuned. We're gonna get this blind put together and then hopefully something comes in quick so we don't, actually if we kill something, I'm getting in the pond. Seriously, we're just gonna sit in there and just go swim. drink some water. Not only is it 102 degrees, we are getting eaten alive by mosquitoes and gnats. And uh, but fortunately, the thermos hill is on its way. He had to go get loppers anyway, and I forgot that I didn't put the thermos hill in my bag, so he's gonna grab that out of my truck and bring it to us. So, I, I don't know how this is gonna work out, to be honest with you, I've never sat in a blind quite like this. So, and we're kinda in a bowl where there's no wind. Looking pretty, pretty good for animals and me. So I may end up in there in a little bit, but y'all stay tuned. Our savior to get into this bad boy.
Wah. Dude, thank you, God. I was shaking so hard. Oh. Oh, yes. Guys. Literally, as he was getting to the pipeline, a bug flew straight in my eye. You'll see it. And I was trying to dig it out. It's still in there somewhere. <laughs> Do you see it? No. Oh, man. Your eyes all red, though. Dude, he is a stud. <laughs> Yeah, that oh, was a big one. The new Bowtech, baby. Drilled him. All right. Oh. 630. <laughs> That's nuts, guys. Three giant axes seen, and we've probably heard 10 big roars. Oh, yeah. Thermosil saved our lives. Look at the pass-through. The arrow's sitting right there. That's nuts. Just how it went down, too, like... He came and drank out of this little mud hole for a minute. And I was like, man, I'm gonna take a shot there because that's 28 yards to that mud hole. And when he left, I thought he was gonna go to the far end of the watering hole. And he ended up coming like right here. To where he like charged at him. us. He like charged at us, went down where I couldn't see him. I was like, all right, get ready. When he comes back up, I'm ranging him and shooting him. Ranged him at 21 yards. Just smoked him with Heck the new yeah. Bowtech. Iron reel, broadhead, did the trick. There ain't no traffic traffic dog on this guy. No. So let's go text Ruben, our guide. Or he's not our guide, but the guy that dropped us off here. Uh, I didn't have any faith in him in this blind at all, but we had a good wind and they're still roaring. They're so going nuts out here. Let's go text him and see what's up. I literally just got done telling Hunter. I said, man, it'd be so cool if one came to the water, shot him at the water and watch him just tip over in this. This is a pipeline area, I guess. And he did it. He did exactly what I asked him to do. Wide and tall, exactly what I wanted. Like, like yeah. All right, supposedly I'm gonna get service right here by this tower, so. Sight right there, guys. Iron roll broadhead. Resharpen it and use it again. Ooh, man. Gotta love it. Hold a Reuben. He actually went into town, so it'll be a while before he gets here, but check this big boy out real quick. Yes. Look at that left front. Mm -hmm. Broke off on his back. That's sick. Oh. Beautiful. That right there is a beautiful axis. Thank you, buddy. Oh, perfect shot. We're gonna get him into some shade, guys. The new Bowtech did the job. What a beautiful animal. These things are so delicious to eat and so pretty. I'm super pumped with this animal. That is awesome. Dragon, dragging him over here into the shade killed me. It's like, Oh, really hot. I was gonna die on this tree. I did. <laughs> the fat boy didn't even die. Nope, he also didn't drag an axis a hundred yards. Held his head up. Oh. Good job. Good congratulations. Thank you. My makeshift line work? It worked, man. <laughs> I didn't believe you, but it worked. <laughs> what makeshift line? When we pulled up, it was. A makeshift? You know how long that took? No, that's a beautiful deer. What do you think he is? Uh, he's going to be 31. That's what I said. Yep. Yeah. Yep. He did. I just liked him because he was wild. Oh no, he's he pretty, looked like yeah. this coming oh, yeah. in. Oh yeah, no, he's pretty. And they all been having this, like, 
broke belt. off. Yeah, I broke off. Fire. Yeah, yeah. It's, and the belt from the belt and from velvet too from there. They're roaring everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Why would you want to lift something that you can put it in there with an electric? That's what I'm saying. All right, guys, that's a wrap. What is it? 7:40. 7:40. Still got an hour and 45 minutes of light, but we don't. We're going back and hanging out and cleaning this deer. Part of the part of hunting with guides, man. They they take care of everything. I like to do it, but I can't take away his job from him. So we will film him doing it though. Give him a shade knife to do it with and look at that shot, boys. Dead. All right, guys, the man is here. Before you get started, I got a present for you. But you have to use it, okay? Okay. You use Onyx. The map service. Map service. Here's you a knife, trade knife, and three months of free Onyx. Cool. Sharp, replaceable blades. Thank you, sir. Yep. Thank you, heck yeah. You see, see how it works on wow. this old axis, wow. but. Hey, we measured in 33. I knew you were in the 30s. Yep. Yep. The right side is 33, and the left side is 32 and 34. Awesome. So, guys, I don't know if y'all remember, but we had a big freeze in Texas a few years ago. I actually ice fished on my pond at our house. And that's the year all of our a lot of our axes at our ranch died, but he said that there was a, this this place is uh, 22,000 acres and they had 7,500 head is what they counted in the helicopter and it killed a ton of them. So uh, it's crazy. I mean, even on his front tine, that's from frostbite, isn't it? Yeah. So where where it's dark on his yeah, front tine, it's frostbite. Yeah, the diggers and some of these two when they're like that, they're from. One of them velvet rubbing, but like the frost bit, like yeah. I mean, we had a good little frost in January or whatever, in February. That, you know, they're in velvet for spring bucks, yeah, it helps. So basically, it freezes those tips and kills it, and then it ends up doing that. It's a little smaller, and I don't know how the velvet works, but how it comes off, but it just basically freezes and stops the growth. Uh, and that's why his front tine is darker than the rest of the antler. 